So hello and welcome back to Coins and Banknote Collecting. My name is Glenn and today we have a very interesting banknote that I don't see too often uh, when I'm dealing with banknotes. Most banknotes are pretty boring. They might have some historical figures, but most of them, you know, just have buildings. But first of all, we've got some beautiful gluten-free cake. Oh, that one is actually very expensive. So, this bank name is from China. And if you can't read English, it says Central Bank of China, 1936. And this one shows Confucius and Lao Tzu. So if you don't know who Confucius is, he was a person who brought about Confucianism. Lao Tzu, well, Taoism, the two main religions in China. And... That is them actually meeting up there. Maybe Lao Tzu is the actual smaller guy. Uh, I reckon these two figures are Confucius and Lao Tzu. And the other ones look like, based on their headgear, uh, quite similar. So they might be other type of uh, philosophers or from Agolters of their own religion. And then we have the actual horse and the carts. So these are actually quite a nice banknote. So the pottery that we see here is pottery from the Warring States and also the spring and autumn period. So it's about 700 to about 200 BC. So during the actual Zhao Dynasty. And uh, this one... I believe is a ding has three legs on it and usually has a cover on the actual vessel and also all around the side we just have the designs that they used during the uh, this whole period of Chinese history so all in all this commemorates events that happened over two and a half thousand years ago so this is one actually this is my new favourite banknote. It just has a lot of history over 2,500 years. Actually, I'd like to see an Iraqi banknote with uh, just Sumerian motifs all over it. And a banknote, well, Mexican banknotes have a lot of Mayan and Aztec uh, iconography. Oh, that's right. An Egyptian banknote without the actual mosques on it and just the... Uh, I oh, know, Egyptian gods and pharaohs. Although Egyptian banknotes do have one side with ancient Egypt on it. And, uh, oh, Turkish banknote with Hittite iconography. That would be very interesting. Okay, so here we have the front of the banknote. And this one has the founder of the Republic of China, Sun Yat-sen. Also has a ding with uh, just one dollar on it so yep man and uh, as you can see the ding is a metallic object it's not made of wood or pottery and it's usually made out of bronze or copper some type of metal like that right, so I do have another one of these banknotes on the way it's so it's uh Five six five zero oh, one two. So it's we'll make this a uh, consecutive sequence. So the two, so these down here are actually coins, and one of them is a spade coin, and the other one is a round coin. So the spade coin, I think, uh, might be Liang City uh, from the Yun. Yan State, Liang Yi City, and I base that based on the actual inscription that you can see on the actual coin, which just uh, has the city's name, or it could be from the Han State, Ying City. And someone's coming to annoy me. So the coin I've not found what it is, but the closest I can get to is a. Queer state round coin from 350 to 220 BC. What's the coin called? 
Yi Liu Hua. So it's basically the coin I think it is. Uh, but I haven't actually found the exact description. So to purchase one of these banknotes, you're probably paying at least $20. Uh, I, apart from these two, I've never seen this banknote for sale. So I don't think they actually come up too often. Uh, but it is a very interesting banknote if you want to purchase it. But this one's for my collection, so uh, bad luck if you want to buy it from me. Anyway, thank you and have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time. Thank you. Goodbye.